In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed a 1D structure into a 2D model using Flood Modeler. This is useful when you require representation of point effects in a 2D domain, such as breaches and embankments, or as in the example presented in this video, a culvert through a railway embankment. So most of my model is built already, I just need to add the culvert. I do roughly know where I need to add the culvert. You can see it in my screen here, there's a dismantled railway and a clear embankment based on the backdrop mapping and, and the LiDAR. So I'm just going to go to map tools and then plot section. And I'm going to draw my own section through the embankment just to see how big it is, whether it's significant. And it appears like it is. It's roughly four meters high, so it's quite big. I think there's a channel running through the embankment here, um, but it isn't really picked up by the LiDAR. So I want to embed that structure into my, my 2D model. So I'm going to plot another section um, and I'm going to do that at the at the uh, faces of, of of where I think the, the culvert is. So there's one. I mean, you see there, there is actually a bit of a U shape, bit of a V shape. So, so there is a channel there. Let's do that again on the other side. And again, something looking a bit like a channel. So now I'm going to add the structure. So if I go to the 2D build tab here and then 1D structure, I'm now going to save a shapefile. I don't want to save over my existing shapefile, so I'm going to call it something else. Let's call it Culver 2. Save that. And now it appears in the, the layers panel on the left hand side, and the layer editor opens. So we've now got this, this shapefile in, in edit mode. And I'm going to click the line button here to draw the line. A little pen appears. There we go. So now that my line's drawn, I want to add some structure information associated with this line. So um, the line alone isn't really enough for the model to go off, so we need to add a structure type. I'm going to go with a culvert on this occasion. I think the 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 structure is, is long enough that there may be some losses due to the length of the culvert. So I'm going to go with culvert rather than maybe an alternative such as an orifice. And it isn't a weir, so I'm not, not going to pick that either. Um, a range of types of culvert you can select from in, in the drop down here, but I'm going to pick circular, so I'm OK with that. I'm not going to include a bend as I don't think it does bend. Um, and I think there's a, a drop of, let's say for, for example's sake, a drop of, of one. If you put minus there, it's actually going to have a positive gradient, so uh, let's, let's change that back. Now I want to add some parameters into the culvert. So I'm just going to double click on, on the culvert unit there in the table and this window appears. Always good to leave a comment. So culvert through railway embankment. And then I think the elevation of the inverts about 9.8 based on the cross sections we, we drew earlier. And I'm going to say it's got a diameter of about one again for the example. And I'm going to estimate it's a fairly clean culvert. So I'm going to go with a, a, a Manning's value of 0 0.013 and then you get but you have various options here so I'm going to press OK I'm happy with all that I don't want to change anything else if I leave the length of zero it picks up um, the, the length of the culvert based on the shape file so I'm, I'm quite happy with that I think I think that that length of line is fairly accurate um, and node labels and everything else get get automatically populated but you can change them if you want to so I'm going to press OK I'm happy with that I don't need to change anything else. I'm I'm happy with with my with my my culvert now, so I'm going to stop the edit. That's it saved. Now I'm going to add my culvert to my control file, my XML. So I'm going to go to the domain tabs, and on here there are various different tabs, but I'm going to go to the 1D structures tab. I've already got culvert two in here, but I'm going to remove it, and then I'm going to re-add it just by clicking and drag. And as you click and drag, this window automatically appears um, where you can determine what kind of outputs you want to uh, want to have in, when you run your simulation. Um, so we've got flow mode, discharge, water elevation, flow velocity and through number as a standard, but I also want water depth on this occasion. So I'm going to tick that box and then we've got a save interval of 300 seconds. So I'm fairly happy with that. So that's it. I'm going to press save. As I said earlier in the video, I have all my other model components, so I'm quite comfortable pressing run now. We press go and see the output. You can see here various bits of information are being 
output as it goes along. Now my simulation is complete, I'd like to interrogate some results, specifically the data associated with the cover I've just embedded. I'm going to go to the top bar and select results, and then I'm going to select time series under the 2D results section. I've embedded a structure, so I'm going to select the embedded structures tab and then add some results associated with that embedded structure. Results associated with embedded structures as a default can be found in the first folder of Flimola 2D's output. So it outputs two folders and in the first one are the results we are interested in. So I'm going to open those. And then a range of options appear and we can see here we've got culvert 2. So we're, we're looking at the culvert we've we've just built. I'm particularly interested in the, the mode and the discharge and we can see here that a range of modes have been applied, so a range of equations have been applied throughout the simulation, and we've got discharge here too, so we've had sort of positive and, and negative flow. There's lots of information available on this kind of thing, far too much to cover in a webinar, so please check out the Flood Modeler help documentation for further direction. Thank you for watching this video on how to embed a 1D structure into a 2D model using Flood Modeler. For further information, please visit www.floodmodeler.com.